Okay, so can you do basic math? Well, hopefully you remember all that math that you learned in school, but if you still remember how to do basic mathematics, well, then you should be able to do this problem without the aid of a calculator pretty easily. And let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have uh, a bracket right here, then parentheses, 3 minus 11, plus 2 times parentheses, 5 minus 6, and bracket divided by parentheses 8 minus 10 and parentheses and of course we want to simplify this numeric expression and we're not going to use a calculator because we want to test your basic math skills all right so this is the question and if you have the answer go ahead and put that into the comment section i'll show you the correct answer in just one second then of course we'll walk through exactly how to do this problem step by step but uh, before we get started let me quickly introduce myself my name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so this is the problem, and there is no time limit here. So you should pause the problem, write this down on a piece of paper if you really want to kind of challenge yourself and see if in, indeed you remember basic mathematics. But uh, let's go and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. It is five. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you could tell your friends and family that indeed you still remember basic mathematics, which, uh, which means that you remember how to work with the order of operations, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide numbers, and how to work with uh, positive and negative numbers because these are the skills that you need in order to figure this problem out. Okay, now don't feel bad if you didn't get this right because a lot of you probably forgot a lot of this stuff. So let's do a quick review on how to do this problem but if you want to um, review how to actually, you know, do basic mathematics again or strengthen your math skills, let me go ahead and give you some uh, specific suggestions right now because I'm going to walk through these steps uh, kind of quickly. So if you get, uh, you know, confused about something, you can follow up, you know, beyond this video. So first thing is I have a ton of additional videos on all these topics that I'm going to be talking about on my YouTube channel. Now, if you are a math student and you're taking a particular math course like pre-algebra, uh, you'll find a link to my pre-algebra course. I have full direct instruction on all this material. And if you are not a math student and you just want to learn math over again, check out these two courses. You can find both of these in the description or the links to these courses. The first is my Math Foundations course. course. That's just a basic arithmetic course. My second course is Math Skills Rebuilder. Uh, we'll teach you everything and more uh, about the skills that we're going to be talking about right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the things that we need to know in order to do this problem. So the first is we need to understand the order of operations, and that's where this little saying or acronym comes into play. And this is P-E-M-D-A-S, and there's a little saying that goes along with this. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what does this all mean? Well, again, this is what we call the order of operations, or it's a checklist for the order of operations. Now, in math, operations are the following. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, et cetera, et cetera. It's the things we can do with numbers. Now, if we take various different uh, uh, orders here to do this problem, maybe we'll do a multiplication first and then division, or maybe subtraction, then division, and then addition. See, if you take different orders, you're going to get different values. Only one order is the uh, correct order, and uh, to know that order, you have to use this little checklist. Again, PEMDAS. Okay, now the next thing that you need to know to do this problem is simply just working with uh, basic number operations. In other words, can you add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers without a calculator? And the third uh, skill set that you need in order to figure this problem out is you have to be able to work with positive and negative numbers. Okay, so again, we're just talking about basic math, and a lot of you out there learned this stuff at one time, but uh, you know maybe you forgot this, and that is okay. So again, if you don't understand anything here, if you forgot, just kind of reference those things I talked about, but let's go ahead and get into exactly how to do this problem. All right, so we're going to start with the order of operations here, and let's just do a quick review of what we need to be thinking about. 
All right, so the P right here stands for parentheses. Now, really, it's grouping symbols. If you have brackets and parentheses, that's what this means. But uh, the way this part of the order of operations works is uh, if you have parentheses inside of parentheses or brackets, you're going to start with the innermost parentheses first. Of course, we can see we have that kind of situation. The E here, uh, our next step, is going to address any powers. Okay, now E actually stands for exponents. So if you have something like two to the third power, this three up here is the exponent part of the power. So you can just think of this as powers. Now the next part of this is multiplication or division. A lot of people get confused. They think, oh, I'm always gonna do multiplication first and then division. No, that's not the case. You're going to do multiplication and division, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so if you have multiplication, then division, you'll do it this way. But if you had division, then multiplication, you will do it this way because you see uh, division first from left to right and addition and subtraction work the same way. All right, so just, just a quick review on the order of operations PEMDAS. Again, if you need more help or follow up with this, um, follow up instruction, just kind of reference those things that we talked about. Okay, so uh, again, we need to keep this in mind. This is our checklist to do the problem. Now, these other skills here, you know, um, hopefully you still remember how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. And if you forgot how to work with positive and negative numbers, how to add positive and negative numbers and multiply, well, this is not difficult, but this is a little mini lesson in and of itself. But uh, we'll walk through, uh, you know, the specific steps to this problem. And again, you'll see what you need to work on. So let's go and get started now. Obviously, we have some brackets here and some parentheses. So when we think about PEMDAS, again, this is our checklist. We're going to go to that P first, and we're like, okay, I have some brackets, uh, grouping symbols, which are brackets are the same thing as effectively uh, parentheses because they group numbers together. But we have some parentheses inside of these brackets, so we need to start right here. Okay, so let's going to do that right now. So we're going to focus our attention inside of these brackets and then inside of these parentheses. So 3 minus 11 is the same thing as 3 plus a negative 11. And when you add positive and negative numbers, if you know how to add positive and negative numbers, you'll see that the answer here is negative 8. Now, if you don't understand this, that's just feedback for you to review how to work with positive and negative numbers. All right, so let's go and take a look at this uh, parenthesis. We have 5 minus 6, so this is the same thing as 5 plus negative 6, and uh, 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Okay, so we did these. Uh, uh, we did what was inside these two parentheses. There's nothing more to do, so we can drop the parentheses. So we have brackets, negative 8 plus 2 times. This means multiplication right here, negative 1. All right, so we're always keeping that PEMDAS uh, in mind. Matter of fact, I can uh, write that a little bit neater. Let's kind of do that up here. All right, so PEMDAS. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, how come you didn't do uh, these parentheses? Well, I could do those as well, but we'll do those in a second. We're just going to focus in on what to do inside of these brackets. So we did those parentheses. Now we're going to ask ourselves, are there any powers? Well, I'm scanning this entire problem. So E stands for exponents. There's no powers. Now, do I have multiplication and division? Yes, indeed. So I have addition here, but I have multiplication here. So I have to do this multiplication before addition. Okay, so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. All right, so again, if you don't know how that works, you just need to do, uh, do some review on working with positive and negative numbers. And the good news is that all these things that we're doing here are pretty easy to learn. So, uh, you know, don't feel bad or don't think that, oh, this is super complicated. It just means that you forgot how to uh, do this or maybe you never learned it right in the first uh, place. But again, this stuff is not that hard. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So we have negative 8 plus 2 times negative 1, which of course is negative 2. So this is the next step. Okay, so we have these brackets and uh, these are the same thing as parentheses. So we have... Uh, brackets or parentheses, however you want to think of this, negative 8 plus negative 2 divided by 8 minus 10. All right, so we're going to work on these two things first, and then we'll do the division last. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need, uh, need your support to continue to grow my channel. Now, I've been pretty fortunate to... Uh, you know, have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views, and that makes me feel good because I definitely am passionate about helping people learn mathematics. So if you're struggling in math, okay, 
uh, I can definitely help you out. But what you need is like full comprehensive instruction. Okay, so if you're looking for shortcuts to really master math, you just you know you're just going to continue to be frustrated. So check out my full main math courses again. If you are not a math student and you want to relearn this stuff, check out my math foundations or my math skills rebuilder course. If you are at a basic math level, uh, you know, let's say you're in high school or college or whatnot, probably the most appropriate course for the things that we're talking about would be my pre-algebra course. Again, you can find links to all of those uh, courses in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So now we're down to uh, brackets and parentheses. Again, uh, these are equivalent in terms of you know mathematics in our little PEMDAS checklist. So we're going to have to do what's inside of each of these first before we can think about dividing these two uh, numbers. Okay, so negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10. And then 8 minus 10 is the same thing as 8 plus a negative 10, which is negative 2. All right, so this is our problem right now. So once we're done with uh, what's inside the parentheses, we can just drop the parentheses, and now we have a simple division problem. Okay, so a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So negative, ten, uh, negative 10 divided by negative 2 is a positive 5. Okay, so again, you know, this is stuff that, you know, many of you learned a long time ago. So don't feel bad if you didn't get this right. But here is kind of the bigger point to this little problem is that, you know, this word basic, right? And we're talking about basic math, you know, this kind of description of this problem. Well, that's kind of all relative, right? Well, it may be basic, but basic math is actually a lot to, to know. If you really think about everything you learned in elementary or primary school, you learned a lot of mathematics and you need that math uh, to be successful in other courses like algebra, more advanced math courses. You learned about decimals, fractions, place value, uh, order of operations, you know, it's a lot of material, so don't feel bad. But again, if you want to kind of build up your math skills, and I think everyone uh, should have a strong set of at least basic math skills, uh, you know, just to kind of get along in everyday practical life, you know, you know, this is something that you can work on, right? Even if you struggled in math before. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.